a lot of people are saying my class plays fine right now with the haste levels and stuff this is not what you have in bfa believe me good day ladies and gentlemen daddy is back and oh my god pre-patch i haven't played pre-patch until pretty much today and uh whoo boy what a thing <laughs> what a absolute monstrosity of a game we've got here pre-patch is always uh, a hell of a time we talked about it at the web show it's like you just don't there were so many of you who've actually never experienced pre-patch in any way shape or form and uh, this is your first time so welcome to the chaos that is the game during this time frame it's uh the only time you'll really get to experience this properly uh it happens so rarely because obviously new expansion isn't that regular considering the years the game has been out but it's such a ludicrous period of time that i suggest you embrace it and have fun with it i've seen some people who've been pissy about it uh i've been really upset and if it's your first one i have no doubt you expect wondrous wondrous things now that's not to say because yes i was fortunate enough to be running breachcon uh when the actual patch dropped which meant i wasn't here for the disaster uh that was the actual launch of the pre-patch which i do have some thoughts on it like i see a lot of apologists yes it happens all the time no that doesn't make it acceptable that's that's my take on it it doesn't make it acceptable that things like certainly the current raid and i'm not being raid biased here but it does not make it acceptable to me that because it happens every pre-patch blizzard shouldn't be actively making sure that doesn't happen the next time right like if you obviously have this problem it's like well you know what for some reason our um our, pr our pre-patch for the expansion really screwed with what's the current raid that people are definitely 100% going to be doing and seemingly that's okay we are just in a heroic dungeon here as you can see i'm testing my ui i do have a ui and you guys will be getting it soon it's not quite finished i'm actually testing whether i like it or not uh certainly before i give it to you guys <laughs> which i'm sure you can understand um it's a very silly thing to still be a problem because it's so unnecessary for it to still be a problem <coughs> Because they know it's happening. They, they, they know. And I, I say apologies because there are a hell of a lot of people who are like, well, it's always like this. And uh, you should expect this. Like, no, I expect that next time it won't happen. That's what I expect. Um, I, think that's, I, I think that's relatively normal. Is to say, you know what? We could do something about this. It doesn't have to be quite as jank as we've had in the past. There's no reason for it to be. And I was really saddened, actually, while I was doing the live show, is how many people were like, yeah, the game's, like, fucked completely. And all my attendees, at least, were like, I'm not even asked. it doesn't work right now because the game is just so broken. I was like, that's really sad. That is really, really sad. Uh, boss here, please, real quick. I got this for you, fam. Don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it. Daddy's got this. This is going to kill me, isn't it? Are you going to help, though? I mean, I'm killing this for you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't mind tanking it, but I would like you to help me kill it. <laughs> we got this. Good job, dude. There you go, my man. Yeah, it did make me uh, a little sad to see that it had gone horrendously wrong again. Now, I, I get, and I do want to point out here is, I don't know, the uh, there's no real justification for it. Like in my mind, there isn't really a justification for it. So I hope it wasn't too bad. I don't want to bang on about it too much because they've somewhat fixed most of the problems, like for now. And they did do the uh, Q and A where he was like, "Yeah, we we fucked up. <laughs> we fucked up." We know we fucked up. It's like, all right. I mean, it's nice that you accept that. It's not like we didn't know. <laughs> but, oh, my cast bar's in the wrong place. Noted. Noted. It is different. I basically made the UIs on Battle for Azeroth. 
and uh, you know, I moved some stuff like my cast bar to make it work. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments before I release this. It's like, do you like this? What we've done with the UIs, uh, if you're not sure why it's taken a little bit longer than normal, because uh, we've transferred everything from Tell Me When. I no longer use Tell Me When like at all. Uh, for you guys, like I prefer it still for like stuff like class setting up classes and stuff. It's so much better uh, for ease of use and modification later down the line. I actually, I actually still much prefer it. But with this, I can physically just link my UI in the chat, and so can you guys. Should you want to do that, like so, someone's like, "Hey, can I get your, you know, can I get your UI?" Um, usually that's like, hey, go to the download link, you know, because you guys obviously get my UI from Dropbox. Now we can, uh, I'll actually show you in case you're not sure what I'm talking about. I can physically link it in the chat, which I think is great. It, it makes my life so much easier. I'm also relearning how to play. I have my first raid tonight. <laughs> I have my very first raid. I'm not. I've, I've sort of been through logs and stuff to see what is the best setup. Because one of the weird things about this pre patch, and Blizzard's been kind of clever here, so I don't think there's anybody who isn't aware, certainly if you've watched my channel, that the. Um, I, I'm aware I haven't done my party frames yet, by the way. I say this is like the first time I've played, uh, actually logged in and played, so there are still. I'm, I'm noting things that need to be changed, don't worry. Um. There are issues with pre-patch because they've made the wise decision. So as I was saying, there isn't many people who aren't aware that there are class design and the class way classes are playing in BFA has been a sore point for a lot of people. Not for everybody. Some people are actually really fine with a return to, let's just call it simpler times. Uh, I guess we could say that where, you know, pretty much the way you play while leveling is how you're going to play. And... They're quite happy that there's nothing extra on top. Now, but for some of us, that's not enough. Like, you know, we want a little bit more. We did a couple of videos on that. But this time around, they've made the decision. Because I, I, it looks to me like they're aware. Well, of course they're aware. Like, Blizzard has this really cool way of convincing some of the player base that they don't know what they're doing. When, of course, they know what they're doing. They absolutely know what they're doing. Um... You sure you want to move away with that? Yeah, I didn't think you would be. Um, <coughs> yeah, that, that was the right one, sorry. Um, that's weird. Playing without staff all the time is really weird. That's that's very, very weird. I think it's okay, though. My trinkets, my crazy trinkets doing... Yeah, twice. My second source of damage is a passive trinket. Be a face style. Uh, but they're, not, they're allowing legendary items to work up to level 116. Pretty clever, pretty clever, because the real sort of horror that we've been talking about in the videos doesn't really happen till level 120. Uh, let's fix this while we're here. Uh, it doesn't really happen till level 120, and that's when it really kind of sinks in the uh, breadth and depth of the changes uh, that we've gone that have happened in BFA. Now, some of you have noticed them already. I saw a lot of tweets from people who didn't get to play the BFA beta who were like, "Okay, the global cooldown has just hit. It's like just happened." And it sucks. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, it kind of does, dude. Uh, it really kind of does. But what do you want me to say? Like, you know, we did say this. Uh, I know Andy was the same this morning. He's even played BFA. And then he raided last night. And it actually, uh, uh, it actually hit him. And he was like, oh, no. this I feel it now. Like, when you're doing something that's usually quite snappy. And, you know, it hits and it goes. And it's got that pizzazz and that fucking pop to it. Uh, and then it's just not working and it doesn't do that anymore. And you're like, oh my God, this feels awful. That's when it hits. But because the legendaries are going to work till 116, you're not really going to have the BFA actual experience until like more than halfway to cap in BFA because they're going to leave you with these added effects. And for some people, they're creating a lot of gameplay changes, right? Some of the, some of the legendaries do. Not all. I guess I keep having to reiterate that for the guys who like to be a little pedantic. But... It's a smart decision. It's a smart decision because that means you're going to launch into BFA pretty much as you are right now. And you're going to stay as you are right now until 116. And you're going to gain Azerite bonuses on top. So you're going to have this weird period of time where you've got 
Legion Legacy Legendary Effects. And you've got Azurite Armor on top of that. And some of them do do some stuff. So you're going to have all this cool stuff happening. Then 116 is going to hit and you're going to lose part of that toolkit. So it kind of eases you in to what is actually happening in bfa and kind of will distort the image a little bit as to how dramatic the changes are but then 120 will hit and it's going to get real slow uh a lot of people are saying my class plays fine right now with the haste levels and stuff this is not what you have in bfa believe me it is not what you have in bfa like whatsoever it is going to be way worse way way worse believe me way way worse uh but that's all right we'll get there when we see it so, uh, welcome back. I am working on stuff UI-wise. You can see I'm not having any errors. Uh, I will show this for those of you who are still struggling. Because, like I say, my UI is not quite ready to release yet. I've, uh, there's a couple of things I want to check on various classes. As you can see, there's some little errors in there. But with PreachCon going on, I'll talk about PreachCon in a different video. Um, well, a couple of things I disabled, if we jump into here. Uh, Auctionator was causing me problems, even though updating it. Combo points Redux is causing problems, so get rid of that. Uh, this particularly was an issue. Um, tell me when, as you can see, it is disabled now. Uh, LVI, every second counts, and these two were causing massive amounts of errors. Um, updated them, still causing all sorts of problems. Uh, the World Quest Tracker no longer works, and is no longer functional, and that was kicking out a ton of errors. But other than that, everything else is the same. Uh, they're just updated uh, via the Twitch add-on. So I recommend you guys that get that. Welcome back! I'm here and I'm invested. I go on vacation tomorrow. I go on vacation tomorrow. So uh, I will get as much done today as possible. And then we're going to be good. All right. Take it easy, boys. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.